Now, CBS4 weather. All right, so the radar is quieting down. Uh, only a little shower left over, but that's over the Everglades. So this is not an impact for us. Uh, temperatures have managed to just stay steady. In fact, it's pretty mild. Uh, upper 70s down through the Keys and then the low to mid 70s from uh, Miami Day to Broward. Winds out of the southeast in the becoming light as we head into this late night. So around 5 to 10 miles per hour overnight. Let's talk about tomorrow. So tomorrow we should start off quiet on the radar that gives us a break from the rain and then we'll get the threat of thunderstorms once again but that will happen in the afternoon the severe threat still lies uh, over parts of Broward and Northeast Miami-Dade as a marginal risk what you see here in the light green that's just indication for general storms nothing severe but in this area where we see the, sh the darker shade of green there's the isolated threat for a severe thunderstorm and this will most likely start by around 2 p.m. We're going to see that right here. When you see these uh, bars, those are wind particles essentially where the wind is forecast to be out of the southeast and turning out of more out of the south throughout the afternoon. By 2 o'clock, we'll have those pop up thunderstorms over the Everglades and take a look at where they track. They track towards the east metro areas targeting Broward up through West Palm Beach as well as northern parts of Miami-Dade. So this model actually uh, kind of relating to the marginal risk where it lies. So most likely we'll see a gusty thunderstorm somewhere between Northeast Dade up through Broward and Palm Beach. And then that should end after the evening hours, after 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, a front does come over South Florida Thursday, but it's not making a clear passing. It's actually just going to stick around, kind of dissipate over us and lift away from us. So Thursday is another round of some spotty downpours. But Friday, we get a little area of drier air mass. That's going to bring back sunshine, not dry us out completely because it's still humid, especially especially Saturday when temperatures warm up into the upper 70s. A secondary front comes our way Sunday, giving us showers once again for the second half of the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, we look forward to for sunshine, but it's going to be heating up highs in the upper 80s. Jennifer, thank you.